Yo, 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 what up? CPA Strength here. It's gonna be a little bit different one. I'm filming like in the middle of the afternoon at my office. So there's definitely passers-by on the outside of the office that can hear what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna try to act like a normal human being, which is hard for me. So uh, that interesting caveat away, what are we doing today? Oh, listen, I got a little tired of uh, tired of inventory. We did like seven or eight inventory. I just feel like doing a viewer question for this video, so I hope that's okay. And let's get into this. Uh, this is uh, of my classic series, Accounting for Beginners number 48. Number 48 of the classic series. And it is a viewer question. And it, it, the question is, what is an example of a negative draw? very good question what is a negative draw I thought it was such a good question I decided to make a video if you want to see the best playlist in the world I'll link it over here this is the card this is this will make all your dreams come true all you gotta do is watch the entire playlist maybe watch it twice sometimes seriously though seriously. if we're talking about what what is an example of a negative draw that if that's the question um, I think we have to now everything builds on each other with this accounting, which is great. Hasn't changed in 500 years. So I know you're trying to better yourself. You're trying to learn accounting. And I think, I think, I mean, you're preaching the choir. I'm a CPA. I think it's a great skill to have. Even in this economy where a job that looks stable now might not be stable, but every business is always going to need an accountant to deal with the money because there's always going to be money uh, involved in a business. And that's what every business tries to do is make money. Enough of this. Once again, thank you for trying to better yourself. Thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, give a like if you love the grind that I that I'm doing here. We're we're uploading Monday through Friday. If you have you noticed that that's a new schedule for right now. All right, so let's go. Negative draw. If we're going to talk about negative draw. Let's talk about draw. Let's talk about my mapping system DC Aid Blur. Debit, credit, asset, draw, expense, liability, equity, revenue. Now I circle draw because the question is about a negative draw. So most of this video, or at least half of this, you know, a good portion of this video, we're going to talk about what a draw is because that's, that'll, in my opinion, that'll help explain what a negative draw. Like if you know what the normal is, then um, a quote unquote negative draw. And I have that in quotes down here because it's just kind of maybe my lingo. I don't think uh, you would say to, like you wouldn't have a balance sheet, a chart of accounts that would have ne the negative withdraw chart of account is all I'm saying. So, oh, so if you know the normal, what a normal draw is, um, the, re the reverse of that would be a negative draw. Uh, one of the six boxes, one of the, th there's three positive debits, three positive credits. And one of the three positive debits is a draw. That's one of the boxes. One of the six boxes, pretty much everything can go into an accounting. So one of the six boxes is draw. That's what we're talking about right now. Now a draw can be the same as with draw. That's kind of what I think draw is short for. It's just with draw. Um, if you're dealing with like a, a business, like a, a corporate, an S corporation, you'd have a shareholder distribution. If you had a C corporation, it'd be called a dividend. Taking money out of business account for personal reasons. That's a draw. All these things are the same. All these things are really a draw. Um, and now I made this kind of big in the middle, tried to key in on this. The question is negative draw. So I want to talk about what a regular draw does. Now a draw reduces equity. That's a normal draw. See how you can see that all these things, all these things reduce, reduce equity. That's where these, these items, a shareholder distribution, a dividend, they would show up on the balance sheet. And a balance sheet is assets equal liabilities plus equity. Right, that's the balance sheet. And then a draw is taking money that's in the business out of the business. 
It's not an expense, it's not a revenue, no, no, no. It's just money that you're taking out. And in certain situations, you know, all the situations are different, but that's what a normal draw is. Now here's an example of a normal withdrawal, and a normal withdrawal you're taking cash out of a business. For whatever all these reasons, for this reason, it's a, it's a um, S Corp, you're taking out $1,200 from the business. That's a normal withdrawal, right? Normal, think about it, normal withdrawal you're taking out, like normal. And you're going to have debit, shareholder distribution, right? Because your draw account's going up. This will be a draw account, shareholder distribution, see? These are all draws for $1,200. <clears throat> your credit would be cash because you're taking out twelve hundred dollars from your from your bank account. Now the bank account or the cash account doesn't care why or whatever. It just knows that there's twelve hundred dollars leaving out of the account. So that's that's easy. You know, follow the cash is easy. So we're gonna have for journal entry rate. How do you know it's a credit? We've done lots and lots and lots of cash videos, but this one is cash leaving the account. So cash is an asset, positive debit, so you're gonna have the cash leaving the account, so it's gonna be a credit, cash leaving the account. So that's a, that's a this is a uh, illustration, or this is an example, sorry, of a normal withdrawal. Now, now I think we can get to the question. If a normal withdrawal is taking cash out of the business, then here's your journal entry for a normal withdrawal. <clears throat> now, what is a quote unquote negative draw? This is our question here, let's get to it. Okay, think about it, a negative draw. <clears throat> if a regular draw reduces equity, a reverse probably maybe increases equity. Okay, you're putting money into the business. Yeah, um, if a normal Normal withdraw is taking cash out of the business. A negative draw, a negative withdraw would be putting money into the business. Right? Negative withdraw, putting cash into a business. And I think this is in quotes because this is an example of a negative withdraw, but I don't. You wouldn't call it a negative withdrawal, even though that, that's what it, you, it can be, or that's what it could be called. You would most commonly call it putting cash into the business. Okay, so, you know, it's like, and then why? Why did, so that would be a, if you're putting cash into the business with a negative withdrawal, putting cash into the business is a debit because cash is an asset and it's positive debit. So you know that would go right here. Particular example of, of our negative withdrawal or putting cash into the business, this particular example, it's a shareholder distribution. So you're taking, you know, there's not, not much money in the bank account, you're putting this money back in, so you just reversed it. And I think that's a good example is just reversing these right here. Anyways, this was uh, Counting for Beginners 48. Thank you for following with everybody. Can you believe it? We're almost at the halfway to 100. Uh, every, every video is another, um, another homage to all my critics, to everyone who ever said I was not good enough, or anyone who ever said I was stupid. Uh, anything, anybody who ever had anything negative to say about me, this, my classic series, is my is my answer. Deuces.